Welcome back, friends. It's good to see you this morning. I hope you're ready to begin your fourth week of remote learning. I hope that you had a great spring break. I know it was not an ordinary spring break like we normally experience, but I hope you were able to make the best out of a bad situation. So I, just to get us started, I'm going to try to get you woke up this morning or whenever you're watching the new show. Um, this is a little uh, video that I do with my kindergarten and first grade at the beginning of each school year just to kind of try to get the wiggles out when they get into my room. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope it wakes you up and I hope it gets you ready for your learning experience this week at Flint Hill. All right, how did you like that? Do you have your techno groove on now? If you do, let's uh, just stop right here and let's check our weather out. Last week, we had lots of nice weather. I know I was able to get outside and we did lots of things outside at my house. Um, we washed car our cars, we washed our camper, we took care of the yards, you know, lots of things we could do outside. Um, yesterday, though, wasn't, wasn't so great of a day as far as weather. Um, our weather got kind of rough last night, but you'd be happy to know, I think most of that, if not all of that, has already pushed through. And uh, we are scheduled to have a sunny day with a high of 73 degrees and a low of 44 degrees. So once the ground dries up and uh, gets a little bit warmer this morning, it should be a nice day for you to get outside, uh, take a walk, ride a bike, um, skateboard, anything like that would be kind of nice to do today. So um, think about that today. Um, now I would like for us to stand and pay respect to our flag and our country. So if you will, please stand. Attention, salute, pledge. Yeah. 
guys and now you may be seated. Last week we missed out on a few things that I needed to make some announcements about and I want to tell you about them this week. Um, if you didn't know, uh, last week was National Assistant Principals Week and we at Flint Hill have three amazing assistant principals. We have Dr. Hips, Miss Walker, and Miss Evans. And I wanted to give them a huge shout out. Um, guys, they do a lot of things behind the scenes that nobody knows about and nobody um, is able to see because it's just things that they just do. And, you know, it just kind of helps make the, the school flow better. Um, those of you that have had any um, interaction with them, whether it be uh, for positive, which I hope everyone had that, um, or not so positive and you needed to talk to them about a situation, I hope you felt comfortable doing that and that you would go with me this week as we celebrate uh, still with them a uh, ha happy National Pr Assistant Principals Week. So big shout out to them. If you remember on the Friday that we got out for spring break, that was a virtual spirit week and it was PJ Day. And I had a picture sent to me um, from Miss Richardson in fifth grade of Milton Hightower. And um, Milton, uh, we appreciate you participating in that. That was really nice. Um, talked to Miss Vincent over the break. And she told me that she had spoken to one of our, uh, I believe, second grade students. And his mom was telling her just how much Christopher Green loves the morning show that he gets up in the morning and that's all he can talk about until his mom puts it on. So Christopher, huge shout out to you. I appreciate all your confidence in uh, me and everyone that is sending things into me because I couldn't do it if they weren't sending the information into me. So Christopher, we hope you have a great day. Um, huge shout out to Miss Heller's third grade, uh, not just class, but the whole team in third grade. They did a virtual field trip uh, to the aquarium and uh, they had sent me uh, the information and said they had 50 third grade students that were able to um, come on to Zoom with them and they were able to do that. And that was just awesome. So huge shout out to third grade. Um, on Friday also, I sat in a Zoom lesson uh, with Miss Nelms and Mr. McCormick and um, we played, uh, just for the first few minutes, uh, we played Nitro Type. And um, even though I still am not that great about getting on and signing in and finding the friends and making the invitation, I did get to play um, one or two rounds, I don't know. Um, it was quite interesting. The kids were having a ball doing this. Um, I really appreciate Miss Nelms letting me uh, participate in that. And also something I thought that she did was just really, really fun. I sat in um, a little longer and they did a brain teaser math puzzle. And um, that was interesting. That was really interesting. I really enjoyed that. And thank you for letting me uh, sit in with that uh, activity, Ms. Nelms and Mr. McCormick. Now I've got a few announcements that I wanna talk to you about. Um, your packets, um, if you are not able to um, access the uh, can your Canvas uh, grade level or your uh, uh, the website here at uh, Flint Hill um, to get your um, assignments. There will be packets made and they will be at the school today. Um, Dr. Donardo will send out a school messenger to let you know when those will be. Um, I believe they will only be one page, if I remember correctly, um, two at the most. Um, we really had to cut back so guys, uh, please only use the packets if you if you don't have access to the internet um, constantly. Um, please um, only take one per student also. Another thing that I wanna to talk to you about is um, we're going to have uh, a few students that will be joining us for um, a, somewhat of an after school program. It's for the 21st century. That will begin this afternoon. So if you have been contacted and you were one of the ones that fell into the group that could do that, please make sure you are on time. Uh, I believe it starts at three o'clock and um, I'll be there for the first couple of days 
to make sure that um, the uh, you're able to get in and there's no issues um, with the technology and then I may do a few lessons uh, between now and the end of the year. So going on, I have another thing. Miss Kelly Walker, one of our assistant principals, has a cousin that lives in Seattle, Washington. And she works for the USO. Now, you probably don't know what the USO is, but the USO, I'm going to put it in an analogy that maybe you can understand. The USO helps encourage the, uh, the sailors, the troops, the military, um, while they were out on missions and uh, different things such as that. Now, in saying that, um, if you've ever been on a cruise, this is kind of the analogy I'm going to give you. If you've ever been on a cruise before, which I haven't, but I've watched The Love Boat, those of you that know what The Love Boat is back way back in the day. Um, it kind of reminds me, a USO kind of reminds me of a cruise director. They're the ones that keep you pumped up when you're on the ship. They're the ones that um, offer you um, fun activities and things like that. Well, um, we have the USS Nimitz, Nimitz, excuse me, um, that is um, housing COVID-19 patients, and these sailors are uh, sequestered on that ship. And um, they have asked for Flint Hill to please send encouraging uh, little 10-second videos. Um, and I've, done, I've posted that here. I've also sent it out to your teachers if you can't get the email written down uh, fast enough. Now, I have challenged the teachers against the students. I want to see how many students will um, send an encouraging announcement, and I want to see how many teachers from Flint Hill will. It's really simple. You, all you have to do is say your, where your, what your name is, where you're from, and if you don't want to give your last name, you don't have to give your last name. If you want to just say you're from Georgia, just say you're from Georgia and just give them a little encouragement that you're thinking about them and you appreciate what they do. So let's take that and let's run with it and see um, what Flint Hill can do with that. OK, um, now I'm going to uh, turn this over to my next activity that I want to share with you. I hope you enjoy this. Please pay attention to the next activity and we'll talk about it once it's finished. like manta rays and whale sharks. Keeping manta rays and whale sharks in captivity is difficult. First of all, these are huge animals. Mantas grow larger than a car and whale sharks larger than a... Where did the beach go? Spring break, beach time. I'm so excited and ready to see the beach again, said the overworked teacher from Flint Hill Elementary School. She had waited all year and worked countless hours to prepare for just a small little getaway to relax. Didn't she deserve it? Imagine the way she felt when her plans had to be canceled due to COVID-19. She was sad, but wouldn't want to harm anyone by going ahead and trying her luck at the beach. So she sat one day thinking about how much she needed to feel that soft sugar white sand, to hear the crashing waves pounding the beach, to feel the warmth of the sun on her face, and to watch the beautiful sunsets that only Panama City Beach, Florida has to offer. As she sat feeling sorry for herself, she remembered what she had been telling her students about making memories and why they were so important, whether good or bad. She snapped out of her sadness and began thinking of all the fond memories she had of her times at the beach from when she was a little girl until the last time she was there. Smiles took over as she began to have memories flood to the surface. The Panama City Beach of the past, the way it was when she first remembered her parents taking her and her sister for vacation. Enjoying floating in the ocean, no fear, 
Daddy was near. Many years later, after marrying, she and her husband took her husband's brother with them to the beach. It was his first time ever seeing the beach. He just about drove them crazy, asking every two minutes, how much further? Then, the first time they took their children. Matt was only three months old, and Michael celebrated his first birthday at the beach. They took their children almost every year to Panama City Beach. Plus, they have taken their nephews, Patrick, Nicholas, and Walker. Now, they are happy to be taking their grandchildren. Jordan's first trip was when she was six months old. The last time it was announced that there would be another little girl, Madeline, to bring to Panama City Beach to carry on the family tradition. Can you guess who this teacher is from Flint Hill Elementary School? Boys and girls, I made this book for you through Book Creator. It was really fun. I hope you see how important memories are. And so continue to make good school memories. Love you all. Stay safe. And I will see you soon. Miss Bates. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that. I apologize for the little time lapse in between the pages and everything, but I really enjoyed making that book in Book Creator, but it didn't want to convert over to a uh, MP4 video file for me. Um, I, I, I'm not real sure why. I don't think it's really made to do that, and I was trying to make it do something that it wasn't uh, actually supposed to do. So um, I hope you will try that out. Um, as far as one of your activities, um, talk to your teachers about it. It was really fun. I could talk into it. It recorded my voice. I could insert pictures into it. It was really neat. If you've never tried it, please try that. Okay, now, boys and girls, I have got something really, really interesting for you today. Who knows what an opera is? Okay. I'm probably going to mess this up, but I'll let the music teachers fix this, okay? An opera is a type of music, okay? And um, people with very, very high-pitched voices a lot of times uh, are in operas. Um, and um, that's just kind of one of the things that's just noted for that, you might say. Um, I'm going to let your uh, music teachers explain to you what opera is when you come back to school. But I thought this was really interesting. Miss Richardson from the Media Center sent me this, and um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you understand um, that this it, these are not humans, that these are actual birds, and um, it's pretty funny. I think you will enjoy it. And at the end, it even tells you about the different types of birds. Miss uh, Richardson's husband is um, a bird guru. He likes to go out bird watching, and they do that a lot. So um, I hope you enjoy this. And uh, if you do, please make sure she knows.
Thank you, Miss Richardson. That was awesome. I know I really enjoyed, enjoyed it. I watched it a couple of times. Um, so please, um, friends, keep sending me ideas. I need these to be able to do this every day. Um, I just can't come up with enough ideas on my own. So if you've got an idea, if you've got a video, if you've got a book, please read it. Please send it to me so I can put it on to the new show because evidently the boys and girls are really enjoying it. The hits on uh, YouTube are growing and growing and growing. So I think we are, this is a positive and I, and I love doing it and don't mind doing it, but I really need you to send me what you can to help out with this. Okay, now I'd like for us to pause just for a few minutes or not minutes, I can't give you minutes, just for a few seconds. And um, let's have a moment of silent reflection to think about how we can stay strong and stay positive and how we're going to have a great day of remote learning. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, I do want you to please mark your calendars for Thursday night at 8 o'clock on ABC. There's going to be a Disney family sing-along night. And I think that's going to be really neat. Um, if you and your family participate in that, let me know. Draw me a picture. Send me a little 10-second video. Um, something like that. I'd love to show that. Um, you and your family doing something together. Um, so remember, mark your calendar Thursday night, this Thursday, at 8 o'clock. Okay? And I hope you enjoy that. So until tomorrow... Um, I'm glad you're back with us. Um, I hope we have a great week. So until tomorrow, peace out.